Uh, praise God, brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of Jesus from here in Aquadup in Panama. Uh, I'd just like to give a little update of what's been going on here for the last month, month and a half. And uh, we had two groups that came by. We had a group from Pennsylvania. Uh, they came by and uh, they had many lessons and teachings uh, from their pastors and youth uh, ministers. Uh, they had kids ministries and also uh, they had an opportunity to uh, work with their hands where they built a community dock. Uh, a community dock is very important for the island where uh, boats that come in from different islands or from the mainland, uh, they bring in produce. Uh, and so this is a big blessing from the, uh, for the island. And this is a way that uh, we're able to show them love, uh, not only by, in word, but also in deed. Uh, we also had a group from the, a local church in Panama come by. They also held uh, kids' ministries. Uh, another thing that happened this month is uh, we had an opportunity uh, to go meet with some of the local churches uh, uh, along in these islands. There are other churches uh, throughout the Kuna region. And uh, our pastor was actually, uh, I guess, blessed as a, a president of this region where uh, they can cooperate with local youths and churches uh, where they can do different activities. So later this month, actually, uh, the youth from uh, some of the neighboring islands going to be coming uh, and spending time with our island. Uh, Pipe is going to be teaching about worship and uh, singing and what does even worship mean. That's the topic he's going to be going over for about two days. Um, and it was also amazing, uh, two of the pastors from the neighboring islands had a chance to come here. Uh, it was a testimony to us how one of them is actually blind. He's been blind for about three to four years, uh, but that does not discourage him. He still goes and visits his sheep. Uh, he goes and visits people's homes. He prays with them. He counsels them. Uh, he, he was actually here uh, doing a Bible study with the youth. And uh, it's amazing. He cannot see but he, uh, he sits there and he explains the chapter. He breaks it down verse by verse. He has it memorized in his mind. And so it was amazing to see uh, him actually break down the word of God in that way. Um, you know, it, he doesn't see, but he's able to make his way around this building in the dark at night. And he has a stick. And so it, it's just wonderful to see how something like this, where a man goes blind, did not stop him from serving the Lord. And he continues uh, to serve him faithfully. Uh, some of the remodels that we were able to do this year, uh, we were able to change some of the beams on the other side of the building. Uh, what happens is the weathering, the sun, the salt, it breaks them down. These beams is what holds up the deck. Uh, we were able to replace uh, a whole, the whole side uh, um, on that side right there uh, where they were just completely falling apart. And it was just uh, by, I, I'd say, a miracle that the building hadn't collapsed yet. And so we were blessed uh, by a pastor from a, uh, another island uh, where we got wood from the, he got wood from the jungle and this wood is a lot stronger. It's rated for 20 to 30 years. Uh, so that was a big blessing for us and we actually were able to get that at half price of the other wood that we were getting. Um, another thing that's going on right now is we have brothers from Colorado. Uh, they are spraying uh, the, the floor, the underneath, uh, the walls. And so uh, this is a way to protect it from further uh, weathering. Praise God, church. The Lord has given us another opportunity to come out here and do some maintenance on the church once again. Um, the plan for this trip was to get the floors done first. Um, we already applied one coat of linseed oil and we're waiting for it to dry and soak it up and then we're going to apply the next day linseed oil and today we're applying some marine varnish on the walls. Andre is spraying and we're going to be doing a back roll method just to make sure it just gets nice in there and uh, also the next day is we're going to be doing uh, applying some motor oil underneath on the new beams and seal them up because you guys know as you guys know the weather out here is very tense very humid very hot and the salt water gets underneath and so this is why we have to maintenance it every year apply make sure the wood is sealed because this sun is very harsh God, and guys we thank you for your prayers we thank you for the financial support may the lord bless you guys abundantly and some of the projects that we have still planned is uh, there's a lot of termite damage going on in the building uh where where the um the roof comes together from the inside uh, the termites are just eating the connection points and so if this doesn't get taken care of in the near future that then the roof can begin to collapse uh, so we have a plan to get a, a different uh, wood and we're actually going to uh, coat it with a coating that's going to prevent them from getting inside uh, this time around uh, so we're going to be looking for uh, support in that as well 
Um, also, we're going to be needing more beams for the underneath where they are weak and need to be replaced. That's something that we're going to be working on uh, as well as also we want to paint the school um, and as well as we want to uh, fix the dock where our boat lands in the back. Uh, it's been damaged as well from the weathering. Uh, we're going to put in, uh, extend it a little bit and put in some concrete posts to reinforce it. And uh, another thing that happened this month, actually, we had an amazing opportunity to take the men, uh, the youth, to a camp up in the jungle uh, where it was about a half an hour by boat, uh, an hour and a half hike through the jungle where we came to a village. Uh, we stayed there for about half a day. Uh, we got our supplies and then uh, which met us by a boat. Uh, we did meet some difficulties because originally the horses were supposed to carry all the food, uh, the baggage uh, for this hike, which was originally going to be about two, three hours. Uh, what ended up happening is that we couldn't get the horses we had to carry um, on our backs uh, that turned into a four to five hour hike through the mountains. I guess hence the saying, you know, I've heard it before, you know, uh, going to school uphill both ways. Well, this was going um, camping uphill both ways, you know, up and down. Uh, everybody was very worn out, but then in the end, it actually served as a great blessing for everybody. Yes, our bodies were tired, uh, but we saw how it brought the boys together. Uh, our, the pastor and some of the missionaries, we were able to hold uh, different topics, different lessons. Uh, we also had prayers and we talked together with them. It was a place where uh, they weren't distracted by their cell phones, distracted by the things in the village, uh, but they were actually able to seek God. And we saw lasting fruits um, afterwards where their brothers who normally wouldn't be praying uh, before they go to bed, they just get together, they'd have a night prayer uh, in their hammocks. And this was something new. And we actually saw a lot of those brothers continue to come uh, to youth ministries when we hadn't been seeing them very often uh, uh, lately. Uh, so that has been a big blessing. It was a way for the guys just to get together, work hard, and seek the Lord. Um, also, another thing that is going on right now is the youth is um, in a different region on the mainland. Uh, they're doing an evangelism. Uh, this is something that our pastor and local ministers uh, had put together. Uh, they actually, it was amazing to see where they uh, bake goods and they were making empanadas and selling it on the island uh, to raise the finances to, uh, to get seats in different cars uh, for all the Kuna youth. You know, we are, uh, four of our missionaries went and also a group of them went with our pastor and it's amazing. They're going out, they're uh, collecting the finances, they're preaching the gospel. Uh, so please keep us in prayer. We see how um, the pastor is excited, he's ignited to serve God. He's coming up with different things uh, that he wants to do to get the youth involved. And also our vision right now, our two-year vision, is to, uh, to sow the Word of God, to really get the foundation of the Word and by the power of the Spirit uh, that we can make an impact, uh, that we can raise disciples. And what we're doing right now is um, uh, we're working with a local pastor uh, to really over the next two years to lay the foundation, lay the doctrine. We're going over the theology step by step. It's an intense uh, intense course that we're going through about three days a week uh, where uh, we have different assignments, different topics, and we just dig into the Word. And that way, over the course of two years, we can cover all the different topics of Christianity. Uh, so please keep this in prayer. Uh, some of the fruits of this pastor is, you know, he's very passionate. He has the respect of the community. Uh, he's on fire. He, he really wants to serve the Lord. He's, uh, he's very involved. And uh, we see just this is as a great blessing for this church, for this community. And, you know, uh, just keep us in prayer that God would bless this ministry, uh, that we would be able to raise disciples, that they would continue on and, and uh, serve this island, that they would be able to serve and reach out to different islands, reach different islands that don't have a church, islands that uh, don't have the gospel. Um, so, brothers and sisters, we thank you for all your prayers. We thank you for all your support uh, with finances and those who come out here and labor as well. Uh, we encourage you to continue to support this ministry. Uh, God bless you all.